Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to go encourage you that God makes his enemies his friends. In the end of Romans chapter 4 and in Romans chapter 5 it says this, Wherefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we now have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope makes not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit which is given to us. And here's the important bit. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some would even dare to die. But God commends his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being justified by his blood, we should be saved from wrath, through him for if when we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his son much more than being reconciled we shall be saved by his life and not only so but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom we have now received the atonement that's Romans 5 or Romans 4 verse 25 through Romans 5 verse 11 and in there we can see the heart and love of God that while we were yet his enemies he made the first move <clears throat> he sent Jesus to die for us because we could not save ourselves from our state it is amazing that people turn away from God or turn against God or turn on God but you know God's always been for us not against us he didn't want to destroy us he saved us from his wrath by sending his son to be the sacrifice for our sins because we couldn't escape it ourselves he made the first move his love for us is so extravagant and so extreme if you like and so passionate that he would go to such a length to die for us because that's God's heart even though we were enemies of God he didn't have to do that but that's his heart even though we were enemies we were against God you know some people blaspheming him and abusing him and, and doing stuff that's totally anti-God even some people even de deliberately worship Satan and have had a revelation and have turned away and turned to God God even loved people who were going that far away look at the the life of Paul the Apostle who used to be Saul who was on the road to Damascus going to have Christians arrested and imprisoned and then possibly killed he stood and watched while they stoned Stephen and then God Jesus personally actually from heaven visited him and called out to him Saul, Saul why are you persecuting me it is hard for you to kick against the pricks or against the goads Saul was going in the total opposite direction he was being an enemy of God and having Christians destroyed such was his passion against God but Jesus loved him and had a purpose for him and came and visited him and now we see the very thing that the very person that was anti-God saying things like while we were yet sinners Christ died for us for yet while we were enemies you know Christ died for us he came to realize that and was now he is the most the the main reason actually why we as Gentiles know the gospel of Jesus Christ because of that very man and the love that God had for, for him who was once an enemy. He thought he was being God's friend, but he was actually God's enemy. And so, 
that's my encouragement for you today is that God turns his enemies into friends. One last thing you might remember that Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, if I can find it quickly. And it says, You have heard that it had been said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But Jesus said, I say to you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that that you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he makes the sun to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same. And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not even the publicans do so? But be you therefore perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. God loves people no matter what they're like. And yes, there are examples in the Bible where people have turned against God but, and, and then been destroyed and killed. But they had become Christians. They had become knowers or you know, understanding of the light that God had revealed to them. And then they turned against him. And then that is a really dangerous thing to do, having known, knowing God and knowing the power and knowing the love of God and then turning against it. That is a pretty serious thing to do. But when we are in our sinful state before we know God, and, and by the way, what I was referring to there is, is a deliberate sort of an act, really. People knowingly doing it and then refusing to turn back to God. God, God doesn't take too kindly to that. But his love for us, you see, is so passionate. He's, he's a jealous God, but in a good way much like a, a husband and a wife if something happens to the wife or the wife was say being unfaithful the husband you know there's a jealousy that rises up and likewise for the wife the husband that's why adultery is so serious in God's sight anyway I'm getting a bit off track God's love for us is so passionate that for us who don't know Christ who are who were living in darkness, who were living in sin and not knowing the goodness of God, not knowing it. He sent his only son to die. That, that's why Jesus said when he was on the cross, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. They didn't know they were doing it. They were ruled by the prince of darkness, Satan, and they were going about doing stuff that they didn't even understand what they were doing. But they were crucifying the Lord of glory so that he could pay the penalty for their very sins that they, they, they were committing right there. He was reaching out to them with his arms open wide and saying, you know, I, I do this, Lord. I do this for you and for these people so that they can be forgiven for their sins. So he was even then, right then, operating to make those people, those enemies, his friends. That is my encouragement for you today, that God makes his enemies his friends. And so if you are in a position where you're against God at the moment, you're an enemy of God, you're going counter to God, you're living in sin, and you want to take that hand of friendship and reconciliation that God is offering to you through his Son, Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus... And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved from your sin and from wrath to come. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God. God dwells in him and he in God. And then it says if you do and keep the sayings of Jesus. He will give you the Holy Spirit. And if you do and keep the sayings of Jesus. Then Jesus will call you his friend. That's my encouragement. God bless you. Have a great day.